Is the universe conscious? Are the stars volitional? Can we study these ideas scientifically? These concepts are ancient. To the shamans of prehistory, they were real. During the Neolithic, Father Sky fertilized Mother Earth. The sun became a god, the moon a goddess. To Babylonian astrologers, the planets were divine beings. Some fixed stars were identified with mortals or immortals. Driven underground after the fall of Rome, mystery cults preserved the traditions of a conscious cosmos. The only thing we can be absolutely certain of is our own consciousness, but defining this quantity or process is difficult. Computers, cell phones, and other devices would not exist without quantum mechanics. Consciousness seems necessary in the quantum realm to convert probabilities to realities. Some human brain structures could host quantum events. Experimenting on human quantum abilities is tricky. Scientists and their human subjects may have different agendas. Photos of Earth from deep space led to a revival of Gaia, an ancient Earth goddess. Humans may collectively form the nervous system of Gaia and ultimately search the cosmos for her systems. Ancient and modern poets have sung of conscious stars and the living cosmos. Olaf Stapledon's Star Maker correctly predicted many technological advances. Might he also be right about stellar volition? Modern science fiction authors, some of whom are scientists, have also considered stellar consciousness. Why do stars in the outer reaches of spiral galaxies revolve so rapidly? Is it dark matter or something more subtle? And why, as first noted by Pavel Perengo, the cool yellow and red less massive stars such as the Sun move more rapidly than their hotter, bluer, more massive sisters? And why does this discontinuity occur where stars are cool enough to have stable molecules in their outer layers? We propose a universal field that results in consciousness by interacting with matter through quantum fluctuations affecting molecular bonds. All molecular matter, including cooler stars, has at least a primitive consciousness. A volitional star might control its velocity by emitting a unidirectional jet. These have been observed. Alternatively, we might consider the unproven and controversial concept of a very weak psychokinetic force. We're talking here about consciousness. Through the intricacies of the World Wide Web, information is now transferred instantaneously. Is humanity collectively becoming Gaia's nervous system? Scientists put forth rival hypotheses 
that must be tested by experiment and observation. Spiral arms, an alternative to volitional stars, claims that high-density dust clouds in the galaxy drag along less massive stars. Preliminary observational results, however, do not support spiral arm. Gaia, a new European space observatory, may resolve the issue by observing positions and motions of about one billion stars during the next few years. Science may be at the point where ramifications of models for universal consciousness or self-organization can be tested by experiment or observation. What if the stars have a higher form of consciousness rather than a primitive herding instinct? Can we communicate? Astrophysicist Eric Yonch speculated that the universe self-organizes on all levels. Other scientists have taken these ideas farther. Some wonder how proto-consciousness entered the early universe. Anomalies are building up. Giant stars up to more than a thousand light years exhibit Perengo's discontinuity. A well-researched theory of quantum consciousness has received some experimental validation and has resulted in a possible clinical application. Are some of the established paradigms of physical thought changing? Is panpsychism, the philosophical concept that consciousness pervades matter, beginning to emerge as a science?